welcome to today's class. For today, we are still on, we're still on um, problem under link mechanism. Um, we are going to be discussing about um, the figure we are seeing at the right hand side of the screen. So, our first task there is to represent the figure and also read out the given question that tells more insight about that figure. As you can see the question in front of you. The rod AB moves so that A is always on O. Y and um, B is always on OX. Plot the locus of P, right? Plot the locus of P for the maximum movement of A and B if AB is 130 and AP is 58. We are given that AB is what the 130 and um, AP is um, 58. My first tax here is to reproduce out this question. So I need to get my um, x and um, y as x, right? So I need to get O, x, and O, a. So first tax is that I will extend this man in this manner, right? And um, take this guy here, take it vertical this way. This point here, listen please, this point here is my point O. So X is at this point and Y is at this point. So call somewhere here your X and call somewhere here my Y, right? Now listen, we are told that AB is 130, right? AB is 130. And AP is 58. So I'll measure 130 from this point O upwards, right? So 130, that's 13. So from this point here to 14 is 130. 14 is 130, right? This is my point 130. Of course. I haven't gotten my point 130. I'm going to divide 130 into um, a suitable division. Perhaps I can use I can divide into um, 10 equal parts. That will give me 13, right? So I can use my meter rule in that sense. So take it one after the other. So let's let's start with this. This is um one, two. Right, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and finally twelve and thirteen. So, with this point, I've gotten my thirteen. Right, so we just said that this is point A, A to um, B is somewhere here. Now I can start naming this. This is A0, this is A1, this is A2, this is A3, this is A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9, A10, A11, A12, and A13. I'm done. Right? Now listen, to get B is quite simple. We just infer that um, AB is what the, is um, 130. So I'll measure 130. That is 14 to 1 is 130. 14 to 1 is 130. Right? So this is 130. Now I'll pick a point. Either I pick a 11, 10 or 9. Let's, let's say 9. Let me strike here. So here we got my point B. Right? So connect B and 10 together with a thick line in this manner. Since this is 10, I'll call here to what B10. Right? In that sense, B10. So let's get B. Right? So we are given that AP, not BP, is AP. Start from A. Down to P, 58. So measure 58 with my meter rule. 
right 58 so from this point here or perhaps so I can enter row 58 0 this is 0 here down to somewhere here 55 6 7 8 58 my point B right that's I'm done with that so I'm done with that so what my next tax here <coughs> of course you have become what P10 because I have A10, P10, B10. I'm going to do what I did for this man here to all the um A's here to get the other P, B's and P. Now, first is first, let's start with this man. Let's start with um um A1. So we said from B10 to A10 is what B10. B and A is 130, which is this. Now start with A1. A1, strike this man here. So this becomes what my B1. Finally, um, connect A1 and B1 together. B1 and A1 together. I have this. Also, measure at point P, which is what? 58. 58. So 58 is point P from year to year. 58 is at this point. It becomes my P1. The same procedure. Come down to A2 and strike um, this man here. I have B2 here. My B2. Connect B2 and A2 together to get P2. I have this to measure P2 from here um, 58 which is at this point I have my P2 here I'm proceeding if I proceed I have my P1 and P2 so similarly I will take this man again to A3 going down to the same point x to get b3 my b3 so from that b3 i'm going to extend it down to a3 b3 to a3 to get um, p3 i have this so measure 58 to get b3 so from this zero here down to 58 I have this, this will become my P3, right, proceeding, move to A4 to get B4 with that same dimension from here, down here, so here becomes my B4, B4, this man here, so take B4 down to A4, B4 down to um, A4, and get um, P4, which is 58. 58 at this point, right? Is P4, right? P4. So proceeding, move to A5 down the down here to get this is my point B5, right? B5. Right, so ensure that you uh, make sure you know what you are doing. See, it's, they are entering themselves. This is my B5. Take B5 down to A5. B5 down to A5. I have this measure of 58. 58. Is at this point, there becomes P5. Right? P5. Right. Proceeding. Um, with that same measurement, come to A6 and strike um, a part here. I have my B6 here. So take B6 down to A6 this way and measure 58, 55, 6, 7, 8 to so get um, P6. P6. Next up, um, the same way. Move to A7 down here. So here becomes my B7. See, connect B7 
down to A7 to A7. I have this measure of 88 to get P7. See it here? P7. Similarly, come to A8 down here. I have um, B8. Link B8. Write an A8 together. I have this. So measure of 58. Write 58 down this point. 8. I have P8. Look at those points. Next up, um, come to A9. Extend it downwards. Here becomes my B9. Take B9 and um, A9 together. And measure out 58 58 at this point here's b9 i have b10 already proceed to b11 sorry a11 to get b11 so it becomes b11 connect b11 and a11 together i have this measure out um 50 um Eight, yes, fifty-eight. From here down here is fifty-eight. Eight P eleven. Let's get P twelve with A twelve down here. Here becomes my P twelve. Sorry, B twelve. B B twelve. So B twelve down to A twelve. Down to A twelve this sense to get P12 so P12 from 0 to 58 at this point it becomes my P12 finally for P13 I'll come down here and strike and hack yeah of course P13 falls at this point B13 so I will join B13 and A13 together to produce out P13. I have this in this sense. So measure out um, 58 per se. 58. So from this point here, 58. 58 at this point. I have 58 here. Right, 58. Right, P13. Right, I can just measure out um, 58 from here. 58. So this is 0. Down somewhere here is 58. I have it here, 58. Yeah, that's P0 um, per se. This P1. So, okay, P0. So, okay, wait, sorry. Instead of here, instead of this man here, instead of this man here, it will be here. So measure 58 from here, from here down here, 58. So at this point, here P0. Never mind, don't use this. This P0. So using my French call, I'll connect this man in this sense. This manner, right? So I proceed. Um, to connect more points together, have this one, and um, finally, just connect this one this way. So I have successfully rose out the low cost of point P. If you have found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the social button and like. Thank you, and welcome to WiseLink Academy. Thanks for watching.